first of all, it's affected, you know, each thing we touch every day. I mean, you think about the associates, you think about your clients, you have to first think about the health and safety of all involved. So we've had to re-examine how we do business. Um, obviously, we're doing more Zoom calls than we'd ever had imagined, um, more virtual meetings. Obviously, we're here today, a virtual meeting uh, to, to talk about, you know, um, MBDA. And, you know, in the past, we'd all be together at, at a luncheon. So it's just taken us some time to figure out the best way to attack, you know, a situation like this. And, you know, I think if you think about people first, and you know what they what their needs are either if it's your employees or business i think you make the right decisions and we've seen that time and time again with our clients who come to us whether it's been you know having to consider amendments um, adjustments to request uh, ppp fundings as i mentioned previously all these other factors that have come into play that have required us to think differently as of COVID. <laughs> Hancock Whitney, our bank has been around for a long time. You know, when you think of Hancock Whitney, you say, you know, two old line banks, Hancock and Whitney. Hancock founded in Mississippi in 1899. Whitney founded in 1883 in Louisiana. And when you talk about that kind of timeline, you usually talk about relationships. So we like to present ourselves as a relationship bank. I think that showed itself pretty clearly through the PPP loan process, for example. You know, in that scenario, as a bank, we put forth and processed over uh, close to two and a half billion in PPP loans, which is uh, pretty strong for a bank our size, a little over $30 billion bank, uh, top 20 in the nation. So I like to think that, you know, as a relationship bank, we're here for our clients in the good times and the bad times. I like to also consider it from the perspective of, you know, when you have a large company, you know, mid corporate type company, we're able to provide services to those guys. We can also look at small business, we can look at private banking, uh, trust, wealth management, you name it, we can do it. And I think that speaks to our competitive model here. You provide all the products and services that the competitors do, but you do it in more of a community bank feel. Obviously it's very important for minorities to have a seat at the table when it comes to business opportunities. I think if you look at our country, our region, our city, diversity is key. I think, you know, you look, the country's become more diverse. Houston is one of the most diverse cities in this country. And I think it also speaks to why the city has done so well. It's a very accepting city and having the right people together makes the difference. I've seen it personally in my life and I've seen it here at this bank. And our goal is to make sure that we have a group of bankers that you know are comfortable uh, across the spectrum with, with all clients and being able to help them with their needs. As you look at the community going forward, I think as we, we look to grow and go on from this pandemic, a diverse community is, is what we have and will continue to have. And so continuing to support efforts like MBDA is crucial for our bank and our city. <laughs> I think it's very important for Hancock Whitney to be involved in this event because it shows our commitment to the community. I think when you think about partners that you want to team up with who are doing the right things and presenting in a way that you feel comfortable partnering with, MBDA sticks out. And so from this perspective, we think this is the beginning of a very long relationship. We want to become more and more active with the group. And I think, you know, the purpose of their mission is ties in very well what we feel like is very important for our mission as well as a bank and a community as a whole and that's supporting the citizens in the community again we've talked about how diverse Houston is how much uh, minorities are part of this community so making sure they have equal access and opportunities is vital to the city vital to our bank so we want to partner with good groups that are trying to foster that same thought <music>